at now your excellency is the massive modern tiles factory and its superstructure sits on 14 acres and these 14 acres your excellency is equal to almost seven football pitches for those that play soccer just the superstructure and within it your excellency this group produces 40,000 square meters of tiles per day. It is the biggest in East Africa. Your Excellency, as you see around behind you, you see a number of people who work in this factory. These are young people of Uganda. 16,000 people are employed directly by the modern group. But also, Your Excellency, the indirect, group, the indirect jobs are many. The transporters of raw materials, the transporters of finished products, the distributors. Your Excellency, as a group, we have so far invested a total of 150 million US dollars in this whole country. In this tile factory, we have invested $30 million. As a group companies, we have 1,600 employees and created over 2,500 indirect jobs. As we expand, we will create more jobs. Your Excellency, this tile factory is a full vertical that uses over 90% of raw materials from Uganda. We get clay from Buikwe, we get Kelvin clay from Bromba, we get uh, uh, potassium for Felspa from Barara, river pebbles from Kasese, talc powder from Mukono, we get fells from Mituma and ball clay from Mukono. Your Excellency, for the tile factory alone, we consume power between 400 million shillings to 450 million shillings per month. We produce 40,000 square meters tile per day. This is equivalent to 78 million US dollars in import substitution. We are the largest tile manufacturing plant in East Africa. Your Excellency, 
We thank you for your continuous support effort and to open the market across East Africa, the rest of Africa and the world. Indeed, because of your efforts, Your Excellency, we export 50% of our tiles output to East Africa and with the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area. Our team is scouting market across the continent to export our products. Beyond this, we have exported tiles to Oman and Saudi Arabia. Your Excellency, the amount of money that we are donating were billions of savings. But because of your leadership, you kept on saying, let's give incentives. And everyone is saying, why should we give incentives? When you incentivized the Kapeka Industrial Park, the Goodwill Ceramic Tiles, and when we visited and commissioned that Goodwill Ceramic Tiles, that just opened the door for us to have ceramic tiles factory that we had never seen from the creation of the, of the world. That when God created the world, and created this country called Uganda, we did not have any single ceramic tiles in this country. But the minute you said, if you build in Uganda, we will give you electricity of five cents, we will promote buy Uganda and build Uganda and increase the tariffs on imported tiles to 25%. Mr. President, here's the good news. That statement gave birth to three ceramic tiles factory. And it gave a birth to the biggest ceramic tile factory in the whole of East Africa, and that is Modern Tiles. Thank you. It is really a scandal for Africa and the leaders will be held historically accountable when you see the hemorrhage of money going from Africa to other parts of the world for simple things. As Anita was saying, importing toilet seats, bathtubs, ceramic tiles, Carpets, curtains, incredible. The amount of money which goes to, <laughs> it's really, I don't know whether, it's criminal. Because by that doing, you are, you are, we earn some money from coffee in dollars, and then that money is taken back immediately to import all those things which can be made here. And in the process, you also export jobs. Because you, you hear that there are 1,600 people here in this factory alone. They are now working here because Ashish has put this factory here. But in the past, the pockets, the pockets of Ugandans were supporting imported ceramic materials from somewhere else, and therefore supporting both those foreign factories, but also creating jobs for other, other people's children when your own children have no jo jobs here. This is really the NRM 1986 when we came from the bush. We told you that this is a, this will make you fail, you the Africans. And some people thought we were just talking. But now you can see the chaos that has been going on in many of the African countries Mali, Niger, all those countries is partly due to this problem. Because when the, so many young people don't have jobs, that's how they get into all these, all these problems. So I am therefore, I want to thank the Honorable Evelyn Anite 
and how group, because they listened to my, what I told them, make it easy for the manufacturers to come in and you will get more money and you will create more jobs. Because in the other, in Nama of Industrial Park, they were selling plots. Each acre, eight, eight, eight thousand dollars. So if you needed 10 acres, that's 800,000 dollars. Buying the land. Why? The government is not short of land. We are short of factories and products and jobs. That's what we want. Why do you make it difficult for these people to come in? So I'm glad that these investors have responded and we are going to make Uganda even more investor friendly. Because we have been patiently attacking the ignorant, those who don't know. We have been attacking them, attacking them, not by beating them, but, but, but verbally and, and with, 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 with reasoning. And I think now they are, they, are, they, they are beginning to get the message. Now here, these ma manufacturers have solved a number of, of our problems. They are addressing the issue of the ceramic tiles, aluminium, pa uh, aluminium uh, parts, the sanitizers, uh, the other water which was killing you, is now being used to do a more peaceful job to kill the microbes. Just to show the capacity that this uh, factory has in putting together quality tiles, personalized quality tiles. Ladies, in November 2020, and construction was completed. On the Youth Made project, Your Excellency Lugazi project, I wish you would hear our prayer. In Nigeria municipality that is going to be started on, the problems are solved on the issue of the land, but the land we land here in Buyukwe district, uh, land grabbing, and I want to thank you, Honorable Minister Anite.